Hello everybody, this is Boaz Feiler and I'm here with the daily astrology forecast for May 9th, 2016. So the moon is still in Gemini today, it's sextiling Uranus in the morning if you are in Central Europe. That's a time that could be an exciting time, could be something um, dealing with renewal or with change in your life in a positive manner. But it's also squaring Chiron and that's a time that we are in touch with our pain. And this isn't a new pain, this is something we know very well. Then the moon becomes void, of course, at around 1100 hours Central European time. It's still in your bedtime, America. And it's void, of course, until uh, 1930 Central European time. That's 1330 Eastern Standard Time when it goes into Cancer, bringing even more of an emotional theme to the rest of the day. But the sun is trining the north node. It is a positive time. It is a good time if we just keep on doing the good work and rowing ahead or marching ahead without a lot of emotional drama in our life. So this is a time in which we are tested in a sense because we're already fatigued, we're already... Um, waiting for so long for a clear road ahead and still the lesson here is to continue building your little sand castle again and again and again until you have the perfect design until you have the perfect design mercury that is in retro is in a very special point today whenever mercury was conjuncting the sun in the old times he would be considered to be harmed by the sun and lose its traits pretty much the same like it is when it's retrograde but when it is in the heart of the sun like today it's a state called Kasimi in the heart of the sun the planet is granted the power and the light of the sun and is amplified so today is a good day to set your intentions today is a good day to have a clear thought regarding the conclusions and the understandings that develop from them regarding how you want to continue and navigate your life. Venus is sextiling Neptune. It's a good time for relationships. It's a good time for imagination, fantasy and romance within relationships. But we shouldn't be too autopistic. And Jupiter is finally starting to march forward from its retrograde movement, trining Venus. And there's nothing more beautiful than a Jupiter that trines Venus. So this is a benevolent and a positive influence that is coming towards us during the next few days. And I hope we can all enjoy it. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.